MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 44 Kinematics Acceleration from Displacement Time and Initial Velocity and For those of you who aren't familiar with the term kinematics, it's just a fancy way of saying um, the study of motion without making any references to forces or mass involved in the motion of the particular object under study. Okay? All right. Top fuel dragster cars can accelerate from rest down a quarter mile of track, that would be 400 meters, in under four seconds. Assuming, no, assuming constant acceleration, what would the acceleration of a dragster be if it sped down a track in exactly four seconds? Would it be A, 25 meters per second, B, 100 meters per second, C, 75 meters per second, or D, 50 meters per second? I'll give you a moment to choose the correct kinematics formula in order to arrive at the correct answer choice. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, so hopefully by now you've come up with a solution, and if not, that's totally fine. Let's take a look at the um, solution steps right now, okay? All right, so basically we're given displacement. We're told that the track is 400 meters long, and we're also given time because we're uh, hypothetically assuming that the dragster car speeds down the track in four seconds, okay? So um, we also know our initial velocity. If the object isn't in motion, the initial velocity is usually zero, okay? Therefore, we can use this kinematics formula. D is equivalent to one-half AT squared, where D stands for the displacement, A, of course, stands for acceleration, and T is representative of the time of travel, okay? So now we can plug in our known values into the equation in order to solve for acceleration. So 400 meters equals 1 half A4 squared, where the 4 represents 4 seconds. Now, instead of just jumping right in and, you know, squaring the 4, I would do a little bit of algebra algebraic manipulation to cut down on solve time. And also, since we don't have access to a calculator, 4 squared is just 4 times 4. So I would just eliminate a 4 on the right-hand side and also divide through by 4 on the left-hand side to get 100 meters equals 1 half A times 4. Well, we know what half of 4 is, so 100 meters equals 2A. And we, you can get rid of um, the 2 that would be left over so get rid of the two on the right hand side and divide through by two on the left, divide 100 by two on the left hand side and you get that, um, uh, you're gonna get 50. You're gonna get a magnitude of 50, but the correct units are meters squared. So the final answer choice would be 50 meters squared. Sorry for not illustrating all those steps, but at this point you should be thorough in this type of, um, you know, brain math, if you want to call it that, okay? Seeing the uh, solution steps without having to write every single thing down. All right. Thanks for tuning in.